Yo, what's up, everybody? Welcome to another truck talk with Dwayne. <laughs> but now, um, this one here, I want to bring to you. Um, I want to, of course, remind you all, July 20th, my first country music project will be coming out. My EP, my very first EP in the country genre. Um, Journey on the Dirt Road, July 20th. It'll be streaming everywhere that you stream your music at. So make sure that you, um, I'm going to start dropping a pre-save link so you guys can start pre-saving it and everything. So just follow me along for that link. Um, but I wanted to touch in today and basically, um, so I'm going to give y'all a little story. Uh, no, I don't sing the best. I can't sing the best, uh. I'm not what you would label as a singer, but um, I know what to do with my voice. I know how to relax my voice. And plus, I told y'all, I'm an engineer. I'm an engineer first. You know, that's what I pounded myself on learning before, you know, anything I, I, I wanted. I got so in touch no, I don't think I told y'all that part yet. Uh, I wrote it in my story uh, that I'm going to put out. I'm going to put like a little, um, I'm going to put like a little article out about me, you know, just kind of give you guys a little briefing more about me. But like I told you, I'm going to tell you guys a lot as we follow along this journey leading up into my EP. I'm going to be doing a lot of videos, a lot of talking. So you guys going to be able to, uh, dial in on my backstory, but, uh, yeah, um, so I'm not a good singer, um, though I can hit some notes, I'm not the best singer, you know, I'm not a great singer, but I'm great at what I do, so with that being said, I, I let my brother hear my music uh, since I've been in the country music genre since I switched. And he was so blown away and taken away by it. He was just like amazed. Like he didn't, he couldn't even believe it was me. Uh, and I was just like, he was like, how? He was like, so you get caught up in everything. How you going to perform it? And and uh, how you going to sing in front of them people? I said, oh man, come on, man. Technology is hell in so many ways. Now, I'm, just, I'm not just a bad singer, y'all. I'm not just a horrible singer. It's just uh, a lot that you hear in my project like I'm a very good engineer and I know how to um relax voices I know I know how to structure my voice on a song you know um to make it sound way more smoother than my natural tones uh and I am taking some singing lessons now because I do want to get better but um like my now my stuff is not overly filled with auto tune. It's just I do a lot of different things to my vocal during the recording process. Like my recording process could be very strenuous because I want that smooth, clean, crisp vocal. You know, and a lot of people like I don't have so many people come up to me, Oh, you got an amazing voice, you got an amazing voice. Thank you. I work hard on this voice. No, <laughs> but no, nah, I'm not the best singer. Uh, I even got a song on the EP. I'm basically just letting you know a little bit. Like, you know, I know I don't sing the best, you know. It's a beautiful song, too. It's called The One, basically accepting me for me, you know. And, but, yeah, like, um, that's what I tell people, like, once you start to under understand music, there's no height in where you can go with music. And that's just me not putting myself in a box when it comes to music. Like, like I told you guys, uh I, I listen to all type of genres of music and I gravitate to certain ones as my favorite. Like and from the first time I heard country music, um, I think I was about 19 years old, 
and I'm 29 now. I'm 29 now, by the way. So about 10 years ago, I was either like 18 or 19. So I'm gonna say I'm gonna say about 10, probably a little old, 11 years ago. We just gonna say 11 years ago. I was riding with a buddy of mine, and um, he'd always love it. And even though we was from where we was from, like we, okay, um, we was per se from the hood. <laughs> You know, that's what we was raised at. And, um, you know, I always had a sense, like, just because I'm from here, I don't have to be, I don't have to carry a persona like I'm from here. I don't have to carry a personality or character like I'm from here. I always wanted to be different. I always searched for difference. But at the time, I was worried about people not understanding my difference. So I tried to fit in to what I was born in. So if that make any sense to you guys. But as I started to get older, I started breaking out. And so I had a buddy. He was like that too. You know, he was a knucklehead at one point. We all was knuckleheads coming up in that environment. He was a knucklehead at one point as well. Um, but he always had a love for country music. So at around about when I was like 18 and 19, he introduced me to it, like not even mean to. We was just riding one day. And a song, like he had it like plenty country songs. And like I said, I've always loved the storytelling of music. And, you know, that's why certain rappers, I like certain rappers at that time because I want to, I don't want to just hear you talking a bunch of, just jervish, just pointless music. I want to hear you tell me a meaning behind this music. And so when when he was listening to this country song, it stuck to my heart. So like it stuck, it, it got stuck to my heart and it sunk down to my heart so deeply. And from that day, country music was rooted in me. And I was just like, so I went home and I remember just researching and just trying to catch up. And it was so much catalog from the old to the new, from from um 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 um, um George Strait. I was listening to some of that uh um um it's another one um I get back to you with that name. I don't want to hold up too much time, but I was just listening to a bunch of different country artists. Um, I listened to a couple of old ones, uh, newer ones, and uh, I heard uh, um, just a lot of people in that my country, uh, my country listening started picking up as I would, you know, get older and. And I basically, at one point, I was sneaking and listening to country because, like I said, I ain't want people in the, in my environment to look at me as weird. Like, man, he listening to country music, you know, because it was the environment I grew up in. It was R&B and hip-hop, nothing else. R&B and hip-hop, that was the only thing accepted. Uh, but um, I was sneaking just, like, when I'm to myself, I'm jamming country music. I'm jamming country music, you know. I'm from Louisiana, by the way. Uh, a little small place in Louisiana called Ruston. That's where I'm from. And and uh, I was kind of born on, raised, born raised on the rough side of Ruston. So, yeah, it was country music wasn't really going on through there. But uh, I started finding different artists. I started. Hearing different artists, your Luke Combs, Luke Bryans, um, Florida Georgia Line, Sam Hunt. I started hearing all these different um, countries, and they were so good to me. Uh, Dustin Lynch. They, I'm talking about, they was coming in. I, I would find all these artists. I was like, I was just, and I would just listen to their music, and I was being, binging on older country music. Um, and... A couple that I gravitated to was um, Sam Hunt. 
a lot of people, but a lot of people was on me like, oh, Sam Hunt's not really country. Like when I would go to other country people and kind of other country music listeners and like, oh, Sam Hunt's one of my favorite country singers. Well, Sam Hunt's not really country. He's this and he's that. Man, he's country. He's country. Everybody always want to say with somebody really not. You don't know what that person has purposed in their heart. Hush. But anyway, yeah, so it was Sam Hunt and then uh, Luke Combs. Oh, that's my guy. I love that guy. And then uh, couple, just a couple years back, I just discovered Jimmy Allen. I just discovered Jimmy Allen, and I was like, man, I I love that guy, man. Jimmy Allen really got some couple dope projects out and a lot a lot a lot of dope songs and and it, it was just a storytelling and so I was uh I went from rapping to singing R and B to now I'm country and and I love it. Like I'm able to put so many stories together. I'm able to freely talk about love um and it's just beautiful the country music genre is beautiful it's one of the most purest beautiful genres out and i love it you know how you can make a song about a can of beer and that song has such a great story in it <laughs> like I, it's just that's me, and it's like, that's a little bit, I, like I said, I got so much to tell you guys and dig in with you guys, so just follow along, I don't want to have videos just overly long right now, so I'm at like 12 minutes right now, but just follow along, and I promise you guys, I got you guys, matter of fact, I might drop another video today, because I missed yesterday, because whew, a little tired from working, I'm at work now, um, I, was, I thought I was going to be able to give you guys a video without me in work clothes kind of chilling in my piece setting but fell asleep and oh, forgot to get with you guys but uh stay tuned ep release journey on the dirt road releases july 20th 2022 streaming everywhere you stream your music make sure you guys go get that i do have a single coming out um may the 13th it's on a friday entitled buddies and beer Dwayne Michelson thanks for following I love you guys